I live in a studio flat in Brighton and I thought I would do a flat tour to let you know what £800 gets you in Brighton but also to remember where I'm at right now. This has been a significant flat in my life so I just wanted to film it. First room is my bathroom which is actually pretty big for Brighton standard bathroom sizes. I have a shower, a sink and a towel rail which I use as a drying rack because it heats up so I just put it on. I also have a washing machine which I had to buy when I got here but there was a space specifically for a washing machine and a big window which is nice. I made a gallery wall recently. I put a mix of my own stuff on there and some art I've collected for a couple of years and I just hung it up with command strips. This is my kitchen. I have like two bits of countertop to prep stuff so everything I've done has been to try and like save as much space as possible. So I've got this chopping board which is big so it doubles as like a countertop. Not much to say about my kitchen. I'm on my sofa now that turns into a bed but it's kind of half made up into a bed because this is my duvet. It's like boot clay texture and it's new so I like that. To put down my sofa all I have to do is push it. If I want to cut the kitchen off from my bed I put up these curtains and I just put them across. The living room's actually been quite difficult to figure out. Initially I had a day bed across this wall which was like that Ikea one that everyone has that pulls out with another mattress but it got really creaky and I couldn't sleep so I sold that and then bought another sofa from Ikea. I feel like it's called the Holmsen, Holmsen sofa from Ikea but after like a couple months it started dipping and I could feel the beams when I was sleeping so I returned that the other day finally and then I got this one and put it facing the window so that it would be more of like a living room space. I've also got this um, shelf bit because it feels a bit nice and I got a projector to put on the screen in front of me but I don't use it that often so I don't know if I would recommend it. I also got this coffee table recently and it comes up and you can put storage in it which is handy. It's exactly the same height as my sofa so I, it doesn't go over my legs and when I'm sitting on the floor my legs don't go underneath it so I'm gonna get some bigger legs to put on it which will hopefully solve that problem. But yeah, friends come over and I don't want my sofa to look like a bed. I'll just put my bedding in the table. Smart. On the other side of the room, I have my wardrobe and my office and my desk. This is all of my clothes. I don't actually use all of these either, so I could probably get rid of some, but I realize that it doesn't look like a lot. This is what the projector is supposed to go on and does sometimes, but it's also my shop. I have like paper and stock and more stock and my printer and envelopes to ship things in. And sometimes I just don't want to see it all. So I just wanted to cover it up with something that made it look clean and also worked with a purpose, which is becoming a big TV if I want one. These two tables are screwed to the bookshelves and they go down if I want more room, which is really handy. Ta-da! I don't really put the tables down that often because it's a bit inconvenient and on that side there's a plug that gets in the way, so I have to unplug everything including my Wi-Fi to just put the table down. And it doesn't get too much in the way. Like I can walk through between the sofa and the desk, so it's all right. This is just the other corner of the room. Uh, just a lamp and a fan and a frame that I never found art for. So it's just got a squiggle in it that I drew. This is my flat and it's all right. It's done the job for almost a year, but I am a bit tired of seeing the same four walls 
so I'm looking to move. I'm hoping to get a one bed flat in September for myself and that will probably be around £1,200 a month which feels wild but what can you do in Brighton? I hope you liked the video, <laughs> thank you for watching and I will see you soon.